and apply it for an ideal gas assuming constant specific heats. So what do we know? If we say it's an ideal gas, then PV is equal to RT. True? If it's an ideal gas, then V is equal to RT over P. And now I want to calculate the derivative of V with respect to temperature holding pressure constant. So what do we get? R over P. So right here, substitute R over P. And right here, substitute RT over P. True? And when you do that, what you'll get, minus T in bracket like that. Guess what that is equal to? What is it equal to? Zero. So what we find is for an ideal gas, H2 minus H1 is equal to the integral of C sub P dt from 1 to 2. And if you assume constant specific heats, you get that it's equal to C sub P T2 minus T1. Well, it's comforting to know that this long, elaborate, doesn't make much sense when you look at an equation, simplifies to something that you're very familiar with. And that's the change in the enthalpy. Is if, if for variable specific heats, it's just a function of temperature, of temperature only. And if it's constant specific heats, then it's just C sub P dt.